So just weeks ago, a Ukrainian influencer's TikTok was full of personal finance tips and motivational messages like this one. You want to live a happy life? The formula is very simple, actually. Here it is. Expect very little from everybody and expect a lot from yourself. That's it. But on February 23rd, her tone completely shifted. In this video, she describes the first explosions in Kyiv when the Russian invasion began. Guys, I'm in bed right now. I'm recording this because I can't sleep. I'm in Kyiv, Ukraine. The whole city is up. There have been massive explosions um, somewhere in the distance, but it shook the whole house. Um, this might be the beginning of something serious. Well, since that video went viral, Christina Corbin has continued to update her followers on the realities of life in war-torn Ukraine. Christina joins me now, and I'm so happy that you, you're joining us. I hope that you're, you're safe. We've been talking throughout the week on uh, CNN. Here we are on a Sunday night. You're still here. Uh, what do you want people to know the most, Christina? Um, well, if people haven't realized, this is definitely one of the largest refugee crises that we have had in modern day history. And in such a short amount of time, it's probably possibly the largest we've had with over 3 million people that have left abroad and over 6 million displaced internally. Um, it's turned into an enormous, enormous humanitarian crisis. And it's very hard to help people because they're being held in camp-like um, environments in these occupied territories. So it's just a very difficult situation, just to paint a picture. Yeah. The biggest humanitarian crisis since World War II for Europe. What kinds of questions are you getting from your followers? Um, well, obviously, they check up on me and my family every day to make sure that we're alive and we're OK. The questions that they mainly ask are, what is the food situation like? Are there shortages? They want to know why I'm still here, why I haven't left. Um, and obviously, one of the biggest questions that they do ask is, how can they help? Um, that's definitely a big one. You know, over the past few weeks, some of your TikToks um, have actually gotten removed. Any idea why that is? Well, I think we all realize that social media has a very large influence on the public. And if you, have, if you attain a mass following, unfortunately, that can be seen as a threat to certain ideologies. And therefore, certain, certain things that you say can sometimes be banned. And even if you're sharing just from your own experience or opinions, um, Unfortunately, that's just the reality of being a creator. Sometimes you will be silenced. You're providing a very valuable service. I have told you that before, as we have been going around the region speaking to people uh, and even speaking to some Russians who are, uh, you know, who have, who have moved out of Russia to Ukraine and, and other areas. They have been saying social media is really the only place that they can get accurate, uh, independent, free information and not propaganda, uh, the propaganda that is being sold to the people uh, in Russia. Are you worried about getting banned on the platform? And if so, what would that mean uh, for the people here? Um, well, obviously, being banned and taken down is always a risk. That's definitely a risk, especially if you're um, someone like me who's actually speaking out and sharing information about such a hot, um, sensitive topic like a war. Um, but what would that mean? It would mean that I'm doing something right. If, if there's a need for me to be taken down, I would take it as I'm doing something right. But then your message won't get out if you're taken down. I understand, but what the steps I would take after that, I would simply create another account. I do have a backup account. There's also other social media platforms that can be used. There's more than one way to get mm -hmm. your voice across. Mm -hmm. You're, you're doing all you can do, Christina, to help those in need, including selling pro-Ukraine T-shirts and hoodies. You've established a, a fundraising campaign that it's already raised over $28,000. Can you tell us just a little bit more about both of these projects and, and how our viewers can help if they want to? Yes, absolutely. I have set up two um, donation funds. One is a monetary one where people can simply donate financially. And the other that you spoke of is a collaboration with Bonfire. They helped me set everything up. And that is the Ukrainian 
merch um, with the famous phrase of where the warship was sent and what the street signs in Ukraine have been changed to. And people can find that in my social media bios. Um, and those are two ways that they can donate directly through me. But obviously, people should always donate wherever they feel comfortable. There's more than one way to help. Christina Corbin, uh, please be safe. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon, okay? Thank you for having me.